Welcome to Programming Knowledge. So I again welcome you all to Programming Knowledge. So this is the 13th tutorial of our Django series. So guys, this is the GitHub link of our repository. You can clone this repository, download on your local machine, then run the project on your local machine. So these are the instructions I have defined below. So like in the previous tutorial, we were working on forms. So we had made a form using a uh, using a form template engine in Django. Django. So uh, I had made a file name forms.py and then I had made a form so this is the look of our form then in views.py file I defined two methods one was a uh, request.method is equal to post and one was the get so basically I'll give a quick overview of what we were going to do so like when I refresh this page so basically on this URL I'm making a get request and on having the get request so basically this block of code gets executed and this block of code gets executed and this uh, uh, tells that uh, I had imported the form on the top of the file from dot form import star you can import any form so uh, when you use star symbol so I uh, used form is equal to feedback form so this was the feedback form which I was referring to and then I was able to render this form on my on the front end part of my application okay so basically what we are going to do first thing we are going to do is add bootstrap class to this form so what you are going to do uh, wherever your input is defined inside forms.py file so you need to define a dictionary which has key value pairs so basically this uh, dictionary is defined by uh, attributes so attrs is equal to this is a symbol for dictionary so it has a key pair okay basically uh, at the left it will have a key pay, a key and then on the right it will have a value so basically these attributes could be anything which could be name id class which uh, refers to the basic html syntax we will follow so what i'll do i'll define a attribute class and i'll uh, give it a value of form control form control so uh, most of uh, us would be thinking why only form control as the class because this is the default class present in the bootstrap so this will make a form responsive and for the uh, another text area I'll do the same okay I'll uh, basically quickly copy this uh, yes and yeah now this is fine so when I move to my page I uh, uh, I would see a uh, bootstrap has been added to my form yeah here you can see the bootstrap has been add, added to a form but uh, this is this isn't responsive so what we are going to do uh, I'll go to my my form dot html and I'll add a div class is going to call medium 6 and I'll put this uh, form inside a div okay and and what I'm going to do okay uh, to get the form on the middle of the page I'll define a style style is going to margin zero auto okay now this is fine okay. yeah now this form is uh, is in the center of the page now this is good uh, to check the responsiveness i press ctrl shift i and yeah now this looks good okay there is some issue okay yeah it's fine okay now this is form is responsive okay so this was uh, to the front end part now for the back end part what if I want to submit this form to submit this form the method should be post method okay and uh, I'll generate a token for this which says percent CRF underscore token so a token is necessary when I uh, when you submit the form via post method okay and uh, this is the form which I, I had rendered and additionally I need a button also button type is equal to submit class is equal to btn so this is a short form button primary this is the default bootstrap class and i'll give the uh, submit okay okay now this is fine and i'll when uh, okay so here comes the button so i'll give a bit a little bit of style to this button style is equal to margin zero or two yes okay okay it is it it is it it is not in the center so i'll add display 
block okay and what I can to do okay margin 0 auto and 0 for the bottom so uh, what I'm going to do so this is the, uh, uh, the full hand notation which says uh, on the top I'll give one rem and on the left and the right auto and on the bottom I'll give 0 so this will give yeah so it gives a margin top of one rem and on the left and right which was auto and the bottom it was zero okay left and right auto top is one rem and the bottom is zero so this is pretty fine now so i'll make uh now i'll move to the back end part and uh, what i told you uh when i refresh this page okay so i was making a get request on this route so when i made a get request on this route or you can see on get request on this url so the form had rendered but what if i make a post request when i would be making the post request basically i would be submitting the form okay so when i'm going to submit the form so what i'm going to do i'll make form is equal to feedback form request dot post okay uh, sorry request dot post so i'll uh, get all the values when the form has been submitted using the post method okay okay but still i'll make a if condition to check form dot is underscore valid uh, is underscore valid to make sure the form is valid and i'll make title is equal to request dot post and title title okay and subject so uh, I'll make a, again a same request for the subject. Subject is equal to request dot post and subject. Okay, now this one is fine, and I would print title here and print subject here. Okay, and I'll return an HTTP response okay but still uh, i'll make a var is equal to str form submitted and i'll give plus str request dot method okay so this is fine till here yeah now i'll return an http response of var okay if this form is not valid what i'm going to do so what i'm going to do i'm going to render the form again but uh, okay and i'll define my dictionary is equal to uh, this dictionary is going to be same as this one here you can see form and form okay and this is this i uh, and uh, i'll quickly copy this okay else okay now this looks fine this code I, i'll quickly uh, uh, give a, a quick overview if the request dot method was get so this code of this block of code gets executed in which it says i'll uh, render the form on the front end part okay uh, when I submit this form, so this block of code gets executed, which says request dot method is equal is equal to post. So form is equal to feedback form. I'll get all the values using request dot post. If the form is valid, then I'll get the two values that is subject and title. Then I'll print the title, print the subject, and I have given a name variable which says form submitted by request dot method, and I will return the HTTP response of var. Else. If the form was not valid so you need to uh, uh, ch check uh, uh, that if the form was not valid so I would render the form on the front end part again okay if the form was not valid so uh, what I'm going to do it says I'll test app debug okay but uh, okay before this i'll restart my server okay yeah now it's fine 
okay i'll refresh this page okay i now when i refresh this page i made a get request uh, so i rendered the form of the front end part so test i'll give a title and say app debug and i'll make now submit this form okay so i have submitted the form yeah now it says form submitted post so this was a method which i, I had defined so when i submitted the form so this block of code gets executed and here you can see that i had uh, executed two print statement here one was a title and one was a subject so title corresponds to test and this here you can see test was title and app debug was there in my subject part so so thank you guys thank you so much i'll catch up in the next tutorial so uh, you need to be very careful by the, uh, writing this code uh, you need to be very careful about writing which if condition is comes inside which if then else then elif part so you need to uh, have a quick uh, you need to have a good uh, uh, overview on this so in the next tutorial we are going to work how what happens if the user uh, if the form is not valid or something is wrong then how we can show errors related to that form on the front end part okay so so thank you guys thank you so much i'll catch up in the next lecture